Welcome to Heathcote School. Uh, this video is about A-level chemistry course. My name is Dr. Choi and uh, I deliver A-level chemistry for year 12 and year 13 together with Ms. Aman. So the first question I want you to ask yourselves is what is chemistry? If you're choosing to do chemistry, you should know what chemistry is. If you were to explain it to someone, how would you describe it? Um, I myself like um, a description that's related to um, how um, science and how chemistry is uh, described in Japanese. So I study Japanese myself, so I'm interested in um, Japanese language. So in Japanese, um, kanji, which are the characters that are used for the words over here, they have different meanings and when they put together, they make a new meaning. So the four uh, words that are in here, one of them is chemistry. Um, would you be able to pause and try to figure out which one it may be? So um, let me give you a description for each four of these words. One of them is biology, one of them is physics, one of them is science, one of them is chemistry. If you want, you can pause again and try to see if you can work it out. So the first one is um, a course about logic, course about logic. So in Japanese, those two words put together is science, um, which is pronounced rika. Um, the second one is the study of living things, when you see all the characters uh, put together, and that's biology, sebutsukaku. Uh, the next one, you can see those characters, they come up a bit earlier. So you've got thing, you've got logic, and you've got study. So study of logic of things, that's physics. And the last one is the study of change. And the study of change, agaku, is chemistry, the study of change. So in chemistry, we'll be looking at how um, chemical reactions happen and chemical reactions are uh, change. So what will you learn in your A-level course? Uh, so in the first year, a large amount of the course is made out of areas that you studied already in GCSE, but we go a little bit deeper and we look at some additional things as well. So one of the um, differences between A-level and GCSE for chemistry is that in GCSE you learned um, what things are, so you learned what uh, reactions happen, but in A-level you'll be learning why. So the question why will be um, all on your mind throughout all of your A-level course. So when you look at the titles for the first year, you can see a lot of very familiar things. So atomic structure, uh, the amount of substance, which is quantitative chemistry, be your calculations, bonding, uh, energy in reactions, so exoendothermic reactions, kinetics, which is the rate of reaction, equilibria, and you can see that a lot of these, you know a lot already. So we will go back to what you already know in GCSEs, learn a little bit more, have harder, difficult, more difficult examples, and um, answer that question, why? For organic chemistry, you should have been familiar with alkanes, uh, also alkenes, alcohols, and a few other organic compounds if you did triple science. You are familiar with the terms oxidation and reduction, but you didn't learn about redox reactions. And you did learn about group two and group seven, the periodic table. So a lot of overlap with GCSE, but questions are harder and there's new concepts in each of these sections as well that you didn't learn in GCSE before. Uh, in year two, so this is um, the second year of your uh, A-level, uh, you build up on your AS knowledge and you learn a lot of new things. So um, if you uh, looked before at the pH scale from 1 to 14, you learn all the maths behind how pH is calculated for the different types of solutions. Uh, you learn about um, reactions of transition metals, which you didn't look at in your GCSE. You just learned about physical properties of transition metals. And there's a lot of organic chemistry that you wouldn't have known um, before, especially this large section in here with aromatic compounds. So all that stuff you haven't learned at all in GCSE. So a lot of new exciting things to learn. So how will you learn? So there obviously will be theoretical and practical lessons. We also have um, a lot of uh, chemistry video lessons that are recorded, just in case if someone needs to catch up and go over the material again. 
um, you will also be required to do independent learning. So it will be things like um, following um, lesson and exam questions booklet to practice more at home. Uh, go over your notes again with the pre-recorded lesson so you can check if you've got all the explanations. You are expected to have a textbook and a revision guide in them. I would, if you buy textbooks already, please do not buy a book that covers two years. They're too fat and people don't normally bring them to school. And also chemistry websites. We will have intervention sessions. You have as much as possible workshops, for example, in partnership with Imperial College. Um, we advertise different summer schools and organize special events such as a workshop that comes to school with chromatography and um, spectroscopy. And we also every year organize chemistry Olympiad for anyone who wants to challenge themselves further. Uh, so you will be learning chemistry for five hours um, of lessons a week and we expect you to do the same amount of work outside the classroom for homework, for practicing exam questions and revision. So how will you be assessed? At the end of the second year, you will sit three papers and each of them is two hours long. 100% of your A-level is in the exams. There is a practical element, but it doesn't contribute to your grade. Uh, as you can see, there are some overlaps between the um, paper one and paper two. So paper one is all inorganic chemistry um, and paper two is all organic chemistry, but things like uh, calculations, kinetic, atomic structure, they can come up on any of the two papers. The third paper contains practical skills any content from the other two papers and it contains multiple choice questions which sounds like a very easy thing but is not um, actually that um, simple so we do a lot of practice of these uh, um, multiple choice questions for your own um, help for the exams so um, these are our achievements in a, a level results um, in the uh, since the beginning of the sixth form in Heathcote and as you can see for the last five years uh, no one failed uh, chemistry and we do have um, a good percentage of A star to C students but this varies across years because we have um, it's a very small uh, six form so you get a lot of individual approach and you get to know your teachers your teachers get to know you very well but on the other hand you can see that because of that the small numbers the um, percentages of grade vary across time so these are the materials that will be required to have and one of the things you'll be asked to um, buy and you can get on with it now if you're applying to our sixth form is a lab coat so you'll need to be using it in the practical lesson so the picture in here this is um, a picture taken a couple of years back for our students doing a required practical uh, you will be doing required practicals it's called practical endorsement so these are my current students um, doing the practical uh, last few weeks um, ago so you will be uh, over the two years. You'll be completing a set of number, um, a set number of required practicals, and during the practical in class and through written report, your skills will be assessed. Now uh, you will get either a pass or a fail uh, for your important certificate. This is addition to your A level chemistry grade. This is a separate certificate. Some universities or apprenticeships require you to have this certificate. Now you also gain skills and knowledge to answer exam questions because even though this component does not carry any marks, questions that are to do with practical um, experiments and processing results come up in, ex um, in exam a lot. Uh, you will also take part in extracurricular activities. So this is an example, a chemistry spectroscopy workshop um, a few years back that was um, conducted by Imperial College um, postgraduate students who came to visit. They also talked to our students about careers. And here you can see Chemistry Olympiad. So in the last few years, we had um, a lot of students attempting this in year 12 and year 13. And some of the year 12 students also had successes. For example, a student here, he got a bronze award um, in year 12. And he went on the year after to get a golden award in year 13. So, um, you can see last year we had one student getting a gold certificate, one silver certificate and one bronze certificate. So I do want to share the names in here because they weren't publicized. Uh, so where will chemistry A level take you? So such careers as in medicine, dentistry, veterinary science uh, and so on. 
so you can see there's a wide range. However, uh, also a lot of careers that are not related to science, if you do chemistry A level, um, it will be helpful. For example, uh, in finance or uh, business, because you get a lot of analytical skills and transferable skills in science. And it's also prestigious A level that will allow you to prove that you are smart, that you're analytical, and uh, that you can work well under pressure with a lot of difficult material. So I do hope to see you in Heathcote uh, next year. And um, I guess there's another picture of the experiment that we were doing the other week. So if you want to see an example of um, teaching, uh, I've recorded some videos for our students uh, that they can uh, revise from. And a link at the bottom is one of those videos that they can access. So thank you very much. And I do hope to see you in Heathcote soon.